Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football 6 box half case pick your team number 9 from jazbeescasebreaks.com 9 and 10 are from the same case all card ship and um, all rookie cards will be sleeved every single rookie card will be sleeved um, the court, the main quarterbacks like like Hertz and Herbert and Tua and Burrow will be sleeved and top loaded right away and then there's I think Pretty much over ha uh, like a good chunk of the other rookies will be top loaded as well by our sorting and shipping team. But every rookie will be at least sleeved. That's how that's how wild Prism has gotten. <clears throat> all right, so pick your team nine. Big thanks to all of these folks hanging with me on a Friday. I appreciate spending a bit of your weekend with us. Appreciate that. So if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in a team random. In some cases, someone won a spot in the team random and then got the team. So congrats to those people as well. Thank you once again for getting in. All right, we've got the huge big old case right here. That's heavy. All right, let's get this on the table. box so we've got one two three four five six on the left side and then you can see one two three four five six on the right side we'll select a die I like that Viva Las Vegas pointing up on top right there we'll go one two three four five six good luck boxes and it's gonna be four one two three four five six so these we will save for uh, next time. In fact, so this will be for pick your team at 10. So all kind of chicken scratch PYT on here. Not Michael Jackson's pretty young thing, but pick your teams. So we know that they're all from the same case. It's marked there, marked there. And I'll leave those back here just in case we run that back tonight. All right, now, here we go. We're, we're looking for two autographs per, on average, two autographs per box on average, and a, a ton of fun parallels, snakeskin prisms and all that sort of stuff, so let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Let's do a quick roll call. Anybody anybody here watching this break live with me? Is EA here? EA's got the Eagles, he says. Fly, Eagles, fly. It's a good time to uh, to pull some Jalen Hurts's. What does everyone think about Jalen Hurts? Will he be the answer? I don't know. Jalen Hurts still has the same offensive line that Carson does, so that, that could be an issue. Greg Harper is here. That's right, Greg. You got, you got the Chiefs. Congrats. Got him in that team random. Did I upload that team random? I did. <clears throat> no, Robert Grease says Eagles are screwed. Oh, yeah, Jalen Hurts cannot play offensive line. He cannot pass block and throw at the same time. That's going to be pretty tough. Although, I don't know. I, I feel like, who are they playing? They're hosting They're hosting the Saints. It would be interesting. I think the Saints are only favored by like a touchdown. But Saints defense is pretty good. Maybe maybe this this isn't the week that the that the Eagles are gonna maybe get a win. True, Hertz is a little more mobile than Wentz. All right, here's box number one. Good luck. 
Settle in, folks. It's going to be kind of a longer break. But we'll have a lot of football to talk about. There's Eddie Jackson. Hyper to 175. And our first autograph is going to be Albert Okuebanum. Rookie silver autograph for the Giants. That'll be for Fuad. That is true. Greg's pointing out that it is it is back to back road games for the Saints. And no matter the team, that could that could make things a little tricky. There's Debo to one ninety nine. Stuff together a little bit. And we're our second autograph is a nice one. DeAndre Swift. Lions getting that uh that new coach bump. New coach W. I think more often than not, teams that get a new coach they, they win the following week. And we'll do we'll do a uh, autograph and Quarterback recap. Ooh, gold vinyl coming up. There's a uh, Laurent Duvernay Tardif to 249. Orange for the Chiefs. We got Keith Brooking, and the gold vinyl is for the Bolts. Joey Bosa. That's gonna go to Steve H. Who got randomized the Chargers in that team random. Has the three out of five and uh all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. There's Keelan Cole to 175, 74 to 175 for the Jags, Chris. Chris with that hyper parallel. Then we have Carry On My Wayward Son, Carry On Johnson, Blue Wave, DeAndre Swift, and Albert Okuebanum. Dee Dee Westbrook to 249 for the Jags. Got Brian Edwards and uh, Julian Blackman. Almost said Justin Blackman. Remember, Justin, where, what's Justin Blackman doing these days? Zach Bond, Michael Warren the second. And is that another? What is this? Oh. Uh, go hard or go home, Patrick Mahomes insert. Okay. Meanie trolling me here. That goes to Greg and the Chiefs. We've got uh, Kenny Clark right here. Cracked ice for Green Bay. Jared Goff Silver, he had a nice game yesterday. Dak Prescott to 149. Get well soon. Donovan Peoples Jones and Jalen Ragor for the Fly Eagles Fly. And Greg, of course, since all, all cards do ship, so you will be getting all of the uh, you will be getting all the uh, Mahomes base cards as well. I may have skipped over one or two, but don't worry, they'll they'll all be shipping. In fact, I think pretty sure the shipping team has a standing order to pull all vet comments of uh, Mahomes and Brady and have those sent. We have Arizona State up 35 nothing on Arizona. Ouch. And that's another touchdown. Pending the extra point, 42 nothing. Oh. 
himself down the field and trying to get out in front for to maybe throw a block. All right. Um, Thursday's game was a was a little a little boring. Rams twenty four to three. I was on the Rams though. I laid the minus five and a half. I think whatever I got it at minus five, minus five and a half with the Rams. They cruised. The Rams aren't winning games in in sort of not not in sort of a sexy fashion. But. But they've been winning games. I think they I think they look pretty good. Um no, all times are Pacific on that, Eric. So whatever it is on East Coast, I guess it would be, if it says 9.15 on the schedule, then yes, it's 12.15 your time. Do we like this week of football? I don't know if there's some, I don't know if there's a lot of good, interesting games here. Houston at... Chicago? Does that move the needle for anybody? Dallas at Cincinnati? No, I actually already ordered from there, Sean, but thank you. Earlier today. Oh, by the way, Sean, I bought uh, Coke Zeros. So if you wanted to enjoy a refreshing diet beverage, then there's some of that in the fridge. Um... Dallas at Cincinnati? Eh. Kansas City at Miami? Eh. Arizona, New York? Minnesota at Tampa Bay? Denver at Carolina? Tennessee at Jacksonville? My Raiders hosting the Colts? I mean, obviously I'm interested in that as a Raiders fan. Jets at Seattle? Green Bay at Detroit? Saints at Philadelphia? Atlanta at, at the Chargers? Washington at San Francisco? Pittsburgh at Buffalo? I don't know. There's Evan Ingram. Green scope to 75. <laughs> All right, no worries, Sean. Um, what, the 8 o'clock game, is that the night game? Pittsburgh at Buffalo. Actually, Pittsburgh at Buffalo, that is a good game. The Sunday night game? There's Donovan Peoples-Jones. For the Browns. Actually, that Ravens at Cleveland game could be really interesting, too. Speaking of Donovan Peoples-Jones, the Monday night game. All right, John Eckstein saying Ravens at Brown. So the primetime games are looking pretty good. There's Troy Polamalu to 149. Jordan Love, Tyler Johnson. And there's my guy, Henry Ruggs III. I don't know what he's going to do against that Colts defense, but for what it's worth, there he is. He does stretch the field. Walter with the Raiders won the Raiders in a uh, team random. We haven't seen any, any uh, base rookie quarterbacks yet, though. The main ones. There's Tannehill to 199. There's Brandon Cooks. Bark I was talking about Brandon Cooks to 99. Classic. There's Leonard Fournette to 249. Orange for the Jags. Wait, what? What channel are we? Are we talking, Oliver? Should be nice. Jeff Gladney. Nice low number right there. Two out of 25. Camo. Cam. Man. Cam Akers. Is he getting the, 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 the sleeve and top load treatment immediately after that game yesterday? Goes to Kurt and the Rams. Maybe for at least for this week. 
Maybe not next week, but at least this week. There's Gladney to 25. And our sorting and shipping team will take care of the rest of those. We've got a kind of a busy day here, so just in the interest of time, we're going to move rather quickly. Oh, on ESPN? Well, I'm on ESPN, so I guess after this football game? John Eckstein was saying, big game for Baker Mayfield. It will be. Baltimore, or Baker hosting the Ravens. Big rivalry game, probably division implications or playoff implications. The Steelers have that division taken care of, but... Here's Mike Kosicki to 199 for the Dolphins. Lynn Batten Jr., rookie silver. I wish that was rugs. There's Tyler Higby to 249, orange. But it is a rookie silver, so. All right, let me sleeve all these rookies right here. See Houston at Chicago. Who does everyone have there? I guess straight up or against the spread or however you want to do it. Maybe we'll talk more. I probably should have some picks for you by what they say Friday by tomorrow. If I find any value in any of these picks. I think you gotta think Chicago at home, right? Especially if they're dogs. Dallas at Cincinnati. Bengals. I mean, maybe pass that game. What about? All right, for you people who like to invest in uh, sporting team, sports teams, and outcomes. Kansas City at Miami. What does everyone who what does what does everyone have there? I think Miami's getting Miami's getting about their plus seven. EA, EA likes Houston in that Bears game, by the way. Yeah, good. I might pass on that game. Is there some, is there is there value in Dolphins plus seven? No, you. May. Kyle's like, if you're going to take Dolphin, you might as well just take Moneyline instead. I think it is a sneaky game for the Dolphins. Yeah, you can't trust the Bears too much. Yeah. I think so too. There are some numbers that say Miami and December have some pretty good trends. Um, they're they're kind of tough down there anyway. I don't know what the weather's like, but it's a, you know, it's not, it's not that, it's not that cool weather. You know, it's a little, a little more hot down there. Right. And I think, I think Brian Flores has been a sneaky, sneaky great coach and could get a lot out of that team. And like, like they're not quitting, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, plus seven is a decent amount at home. EA thinks Chiefs win but don't cover. Yeah, and Chiefs haven't really been like if they if, if they just kind of, they can accidentally score fifty points, right? The Chiefs, but that's if there's like some broken plays and stuff like stuff like that. I feel like I feel like the Chiefs really don't really don't. They're they're really just kind of they know they're going to be in the playoffs. And I think they're just kind of, kind of cruising into the playoffs, and then I think they can turn it up there. Let's look at Vegas Insider to get an overview at some of the, some of the odds here. If we want to talk that.
Kyle likes likes Giants plus the points at home. I would like the Giants plus three, but I wonder Arizona's haven't they lost a few games in a row? I feel like they're pretty hungry for a W. I know that's I mean, but they are going to the East Coast. It's a pretty square handicap, I get that, but but you can't count out like teams that have lost multiple games in a row. There's Darren Waller to two forty nine. There's Thaddeus Moss, Purple Power, to 49. There's Deion Jones, Cracked Ice, to 99. Puka Potamus, what's up, is saying Mahomes has never beaten the Dolphins? Huh. That's interesting. So either they're due or Dolphins have the Chiefs number for some reason. CJ Henderson, Logan Wilson. There's Le'Veon. Red Wave to 149. And there's our first Justin Herbert, our first uh, main rookie quarterback going to Stephen H., who got the uh, Chargers in a randomizer. I know. I love wild gambler stats, John. <laughs> those, are always, those are always fun to talk about. I, I, I try to keep track of a lot of those trends to one side. And, I mean, you, you can't just... Ooh, a nice Tua as well. You can't just go strictly on trends. Jack with the Dolphins. There you go, Jack. You can't strictly go on trends, but it's always fun to see. Like, whenever the Steelers are a minus seven or more favorite facing a team in New York, <laughs> the Steelers are four two and one against the spread. There's Dante Fowler, two forty nine. You're like, all right, <laughs> what do I do with that information? Like what? What? What's the actionable item on that? I might so I might take. Ooh, wild card points. Um, these can range, I think, anywhere from uh, five hundred, like two fifty to fifteen thousand points. Winner take all on the points. I'm gonna collect them all as one lot and randomize it to one person on this list right here. There's J.K. Dobbins for the Ravens to one twenty-five. And Purple Power, Lynn Bowden Jr. for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? Walter has my Raiders. Man, we had a lot, I had a lot of, we, I'm like, am I, am I in the Raiders front office? I had a lot of high hopes for this guy as a sort of gadget guy. That's the 49. I think the Raiders did too, but there are some personal issues there. Maybe didn't look as good, good in camp as they thought. I think this is an example of like a, of, of maybe like a pandemic sort of thing, you know, where you can't really see the guy, talk to the person, meet with him face to face and, you know, work him out and all that sort of stuff. I think they, they kind of reached there and just didn't work out. There's Jordan Love Hyper to 175. Hustle says he got uh, 2,500 points on his wild card. That's pretty nice. There's Silver Okwebanum, Blue Wave Lane Johnson to 199. All right, Steelers have never lost a Wednesday afternoon game. They were 1 0 against the spread. And straight up. Well, let me sleeve all the rookies. Any other games that are, that are jumping out at people just in terms of interest or 
for investing purposes, investment purposes. I, for one, enjoy investing a little bit of money here. Not too much. I don't, I don't go too crazy, but just for entertainment purposes. But I don't know if there's any games that are really jumping out at me. What was Greg saying earlier? Is he, was he saying there was a lot of lots of road chalk? Seems like feels like it, right? What does everyone think about my Raiders hosting the Colts? This is, this is this will be big playoff implications for my Raiders if they could win this game. Although playoffs would be, if someone said the Raiders would be challenging for a playoff spot this late in the season, I would be like, I would be like, uh, I, I'll take it, you know. But now the line is in the sand has moved a little bit because the Raiders have have looked uh, a little bit uh, better than expected than I expected. But the Raiders are plus three. They do, do. I feel like they do well as a short home dog. Maybe the Raiders are a good teaser candidate. Terrible at those, but. All right, halfway through this half case break. I've uh, got about another 30 minutes to go here, so thanks everyone for chatting with me while we kind of go through this long and leisurely break. EA is pointing out that the Titan spread feels high for a rivalry game. All right, where's the, where's the Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee minus seven and a half at Jacksonville. How has the how have the Titans been looking recently? I think they well they got blown out by the not blown well they kind of blown out right by the Browns last week. But in you know yeah divisional matchups seems like what do you do there? I feel like the Titans have to win this game, but minus seven and a half seems to be the consensus. Seven seven and a half, big road favorite. Jacksonville plus the points could be interesting. But, yeah. But see, like, yeah, late season Derrick Henry, though. You got to watch out for him. He's been a little, a little quiet. I think last week he got stifled a little bit, but still kind of looked good. So he can just rattle off four TDs against Jacksonville. Take the over, says EA. That's his rec for entertainment purposes only, his recommendation. The over uh, total is about 52 points around there. Malcolm Butler, speaking of the Titans, to 49, Purple Power. That'll be for Drew and the Titans. There's Peyton Manning, Colts edition. Omaha to 175. And there's a Jalen Hurts for you, uh, EA. Base Jalen Hurts getting the sleeve and top load treatment immediately. Might not be doing that next week, depending on what happens this Sunday. What does everyone think about this guy? We were talking about a little bit about him earlier. The Eagles fans here at Jaspies, Boss Man, Nick Jaspi, Jason Jaspi. I mean, they're pretty sad. <laughs> Not, not about Jalen Hurts. I think they're just kind of sad about the way the season has gone overall. It was Clyde edwards helaire that it's come to this and that they're nervous about, like, with that offensive line, is Jalen Hurts just going to get killed out there? There's DJ Dallas, orange, to 249 for Seattle. Josh and Chase. Noah and Christian. <laughs> Will Fuller just goes off against the the Detroit Lions. Then I'm sure gets randomly tested, and then all of a sudden, ding. There's Willie McGinnis, 75 green scope. Tagged for PEDs, done for the season.
There's Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens to 125. I like Denzel Mims too. Are are the Jets due for a win? I mean, they almost beat my Raiders. I was the Raiders were gifted a win. No, they're in Seattle. Maybe not. But Ra Jets plus fourteen. They're they're fighting. I mean, pride kicks in, right? Another Peyton red wave this time. Ninety one out of one forty nine. Omaha. And we've got Daniel Jones. Nice. Sensational signatures. I think they get him back this week, right? After a little hamstring issue. They're hosting the they're hosting Arizona. Healthy Daniel Jones could 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 make the plus three interesting. Uh, that is for Fuad and the Giants. Trade Carson Wentz for an O line. There's another Justin Herbert right there for Steve H. There's Miles Garrett to 199. And we got a Tua here. That'll be for Miami, Jack. Did someone say that if you see a Justin, you, you'll usually see a Tua? Like that's the pattern? And behind Deion Jones is Kenneth Murray for the Chargers. That'll be for Steve. Green scope and autograph Kenneth Murray. That looks, that looks a little different, doesn't it? There's Taysom Hill to 249. That's for the Colts, Jeremy Merle. I don't see a number on here, but I feel like there's... Maybe we just haven't seen a lot of instant impacts. All right, two boxes to go. Oh, those are short printed, says EA. All right, there you go. Yeah, maybe it's just because I just haven't seen a lot of those. I have yet to pull a color blast. I mean, we still have two boxes to go, but I think I've yet to pull a color blast. I've pulled a couple gold vinyls. Color blast I have not seen. Or I've not pulled. I've seen them. New York Jets at Seattle. Jets plus 14. John Eckstein saying that, yeah, that Wentz contract is pretty harsh to trade. It would be pretty tough. I think the only thing that makes sense that a, that a team might, like, the only trade that makes sense to me, and I don't even know if this is just, I think this is only just speculation, and I don't think there's even any smoke to this, um, is uh, Carson Wentz reuniting with Frank Reich in Indianapolis, right? I mean, how long is, I can't imagine Rivers is going to play, you know, he Rivers might play one more season. Right? But I don't think he's obviously not, not a long-term answer for Indianapolis. Carson Wentz is still pretty young. right? He's only, what, four, 2016 draft class? Maybe? 2017? 2016. Right? It's only, what, four years in the league? Five years in the league? However you want to count that. 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 years in the league. You know, so maybe, maybe if Frank Reich really thinks, hey, I can unlock, you know, 
I can unlock Carson Wentz. And his talents. Then maybe he gives that a shot. Yeah, you know what? That's it. See, that's interesting. There's a lot of there's so many quarterback questions out there. It's kind of crazy, right? And Nick Jassy was telling me yesterday that college wise, the the quarterbacks coming aside from Trevor Lawrence, there's a lot of college quarterbacks that are coming up that could be drafted in the top five. Like three or four quarterbacks could go in the top five, if not, and then more in the first few rounds or so. See, the, yeah, a lot of quarterback questions. Jimmy G, could, could he go back to the Patriots? There's, there's Zerline, rough day for him the other night. Devin Asiasi to 249. Sam Darnold, where does he go? Is it even fair to judge Sam Darnold? Playing under Gase and pretty much having so many weapons and a defense stripped away from him. There's Eric Armstead. So do you give Darnold another year? With some better, with some better weapons, so you can actually evaluate him. There's Michael Pittman Jr. to 175. Right, Broncos could move on from Drew Locke. El Canon is saying, yeah, Michael Sewer saying last mock draft you saw has that BYU quarterbacks going over fields. There's Daryl Taylor. Blue Wave to 199. Yeah, Kyle's like, what about my boy Josh Rosen? Does he deserve another shot somewhere? He's just fallen out of favor, but I feel like somewhat unfairly, if someone gives him a decent, you know, if he can stay an assistant for a couple of years, someone's got to give him at least two years in, in the same, with the same coaching staff. Give him a chance to show what he has. There's Emmett Smith, 249. <laughs> Bring Tebow back? I don't know. Was Tebow even that good in the first place? I always get shouted down. Oh, nice silver Patrick Mahomes. There you go, Greg Harper. It's a good, good action shot of him. And a purple power, Keith Brooking, to 49. <clears throat> I know, that's the argument everyone says. But he's, he's a winner. He just wins. But come on. That was not an NFL quarterback. TJ Hawkinson to 99. Why he's on the NFL. And behind Michael Vick is going to be James Proche. Proche? Pache? Proche? Christian Pache? James Proche? Silver rookie autograph for Baltimore. That's going to go to Jeremy Merle. Won that team in the team random. CD Lamb, Anthony Gordon. How much of C.D. Lamb's season could have been different if Dak Prescott didn't have that horrific injury? LaVisca Chenault Jr., red wave to 149. And our first Joe Burrow. Base Joe Burrow going to Jack and the Bengals. Poor Joe Burrow. That offensive line got him killed. What do you think? What do you think the gift is for the offensive line from Joe Burrow? Do they even get gifts? And behind Bridgewater is Jordan Love, twelve out of ninety-nine. His medical bills, jersey and auto. Joe Burrow sends his medical bills to the uh, to the offensive line, and they're like, "Wait, don't you have insurance through the team?" They're like, "No, you still have to pay for it." What's going on? Why are there regular sleeves 
in the... Oh, there we go. Just a couple. All right. Green Bay Packers, Jesse Waybright, who won a spot in the team random, got randomized the Green Bay Packers and gets the 12 out of 99 J-Hart. Chad Johnson to 175. Ocho Cinco going to Cincinnati. His medical bills. What are some of the crazy... There's always crazy QB. There's all these crazy QB uh, gifts to their offensive linemen. Usually it's like... What was the funny one I heard? Usually it's like a night like watches or laptops or iPads or something like that or whatever the hot tech product is of that year. I think one year Russell Wilson gave gave his offensive line like Amazon stock or something like that. Do people remember the story? I think it was Amazon stock, and I was kind of laughing to myself, and it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's cool and all. <laughs> but it's such like, I don't know, it's like such like a dad gift. <laughs> it's nice. Amazon stock is great. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, I'm sure they've they've made a lot of gains in their capital since then. But give me a Rolex. Come on. Now, 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 now you've added this to my plate that I have to give to my business manager that I have to deal with. Come on. Hi, Sean. Sean, do you remember that story? When Russell Wilson gave his offensive line uh, Amazon stock or something like that. There you go. Michael Stewart remembers $12,000 in Amazon stock, each, which is awesome. But that's such like a grown-up gift if you're, an off, if you're a football player. And I'm just like, come on. Just give me the Rolex. Don't, don't make me – don't add to my tax plate, you know, by giving me $12,000 of stock. It's another thing my accountant has to deal with. Give me, the, give me an iPad Pro. I want the iPad Pro instead. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, all 13. I mean, it's awfully generous. I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's bad. It's a great gift. <laughs> but it's just like a funny, it's just like you know, it's it's like a nerdy gift. Give me a twelve thousand dollar watch. Like I can point to, you know, and be like, "Hey, Russell Wilson gave me that watch." You know, like if you're a, if you're like a second string lineman, right? You know, and you're and you're maybe in the league for five or six seasons. You know, and uh, you're in the league for only five or six years, and you're out of the league, and you're like. I don't know, you own a car dealership or something like that. Then you can point to this watch and be like, yeah, Russell Wilson got me this watch. You can't point to your Amazon stock. Russell Wilson got me this Amazon stock and now I have to pay taxes on it, capital gains taxes. That's not as fun of a story. <laughs> the fun story is, hey, look at this sick-ass watch that Russell Wilson got me. It's got a big hawk in the middle of it with with diamonds around it. Michael Stewart wants the Amazon stock. That's the smart play. But if you're a young lineman in your 20s, you want the watch. <laughs> right? Give me the watch. Right, see, Derek, Derek Henry knows. Derek Henry bought the Titans O-line watches. For winning the rushing title last year. See, that's what you want. There's, there's Eric Hendricks. Give me a watch. I'm young, rich, in my 20s. You know, give me give me the watch. Not like grown-up stuff like stocks. I'll get I'll get that later. There's John U. Smith to 199. Blue Wave. Michael Schwartz, right, though. The smart play is the stock, but... There's D.D. Westbrook, blue, cracked ice to 99. 
And there's Purple Power, KJ Hamler. Denver Broncos, my rivals. Troy got randomized. The Broncos in that team random. Twenty-four out of forty-nine. You can buy, oh, buy a car with the returns on the Amazon stock. Yeah, I guess. It seems like a lot of work if you're a football player in your mid twenties. Out of one twenty-five, Mitch Trubisky. And we got rookie silver Brian Edwards. There's James Conner, Hyper, to 175 for the Steelers. That'll be for Corey. Now, the next step for the Raiders, maybe see this guy emerge a little bit. Brian Edwards, that'd be pretty cool. There's Marlon Humphrey to 199. Did Eli really buy his lineman custom jeans? There's Jordan Love, Tyler Johnson. Hmm. I guess if you're a lineman, that's kind of important though, right? That Justin Simmons, uh, if you're like 6'7", 300 pounds, maybe pants are probably hard to find. Maybe, maybe that gift is cool. But it can't just be one pair of jeans, right? There's Kyler Murray to 175. Jeff Okuda and Michael. Like I got, you have to give me like a dozen of those custom jeans. We got Lynn Bowden Jr. and Jacob Eason. We got Devonte Adams, Red Wave, to 149, 111 out of 149. Logan saying Derek Carr bought his own plane ticket out of town for the team. There's Cleveland Farrell, Blue Wave. Juwan, uh, yeah, Juwan Jennings and Josiah DeGuara are your final rookies right there, ladies and gentlemen. Did we have a... Oh, was that... Jo oh, those was the Jordan Love and the... Okay. So there you go, folks. Thanks very much for getting in. Let's randomize those wild card points to someone. All right, so some Walter with the Cardinals down to Mark and Washington and everybody in between. Let's roll it and randomize it. Name on top after three and a five, eight times. We'll get the wild card points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, three and a five, eight times. There's eight right there. Congrats to... John Alfies. John, I don't, he had the Browns. I think he got a Donovan Peoples Jones early on. I don't know if I called your number too often after that. So there you go. Hopefully these points uh, yield something huge for you. And there you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. You're welcome, Greg. Thanks for getting into that filler, too. I appreciate that. Thanks, everybody, as well. That was Pick Your Team number nine. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com.